So since we have the starting and the ending, that means when component mount and when component unmount, we have intermediate state. That means whenever component updates. So we are on the app.js, that means the app component. And here I'm going to create a component uh, a life cycle, which is called component did update. So this is going to trigger whenever component updates. So I'm going to remove, let's not remove, just log and I can say app updated. Let's try this. And now you can see we have a constructor, then we have a render. Then we have a mounted once again render because there is a change in a state because it is re-rendering then it is called updated. What if I comment this setting of the state from the component did mount. Refresh. We just have an app constructor when after that rendering of the JSX this one and then finally mount it but no re-rendering and because there is no re-rendering that means there is no update of the app component but when i click on this uh, toggle image this toggle image is actually going to set the state of is showing into true or toggling it so if i click on set image you can see app re-rendered because app re-rendered inside we are showing the image so it says image component mounted and after that we are setting we are having this app updated so you can see the sequence first whenever there's a change then re-rendering of this jsx works after that we are having this component so the component is mounting the image component and after that we can say that okay app is actually updated the app component is actually updated so what we can do on the update part it's like uh, you can say we want to have some styling then you can give some styling which is only applicable for this images you can do various things but this is the way you can handle the component did update 